Susan G. cooking show. Today we will be making some bread, a cheese spread, and ravioli. The bread will take an hour and a half to rise, so we suggest making it first. Here's what you'll need for the bread. All-purpose plain flour. Ultra-fine sugar. Dry yeast. Salt. Lukewarm milk. Lukewarm water. Place one teaspoon of ultra-fine sugar in a teacup. Add six tablespoons of lukewarm water and stir until the sugar is dissolved. Add half an ounce of dry yeast. Stir in the yeast. Let the yeast rise in a warm place for 10 minutes. Pour four cups of flour onto a work surface. Sift in one and a half teaspoons of salt and stir thoroughly. Make a well in the flour and pour in two thirds cup of lukewarm milk and the yeast mixture. Mix by kneading the dough for 10 minutes. Place the dough in a floured bowl and cover with a damp towel. Let the dough rise for an hour and a half in a warm place. While the dough is rising, start making your cheese spread. Here's what you'll need for the cheese spread. Ricotta cheese, cream, olive oil, white wine vinegar, apple cider vinegar, water, two French shallots, chives, parsley, salt and pepper. Add one cup of ricotta cheese and mash with a fork. Add one fourth cup of olive oil Three tablespoons of white wine vinegar. One tablespoon of apple cider vinegar with one tablespoon of water.
Mix the ingredients together. Whip three quarter cups of cream. Fold in the whipped cream. Finely chop two shallots. Add the shallots to the spread and mix. Chop 10 chives. Add the chives to the spread and mix. Chop 10 sprigs of parsley. Add parsley and mix. Add salt and pepper to taste and chill. Preheat the oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Put the dough on a lightly floured surface and knead for three more minutes. Oil a baking sheet. Roll out your bread to desired thickness. Bake the bread for around 20 minutes. Take the bread out when it's golden brown and cut. Once you finish cutting, it's time to enjoy. Now it's time to make the ravioli. Here's the ingredients for the pasta. Salt olive oil, two eggs, and flour. 
Sift two and a half cups of flour onto a work surface. Add four pinches of salt. Make a well in the flour and in it add two eggs and two tablespoons of olive oil. Knead the dough until it is homogenous. Knead the dough into a ball and wrap with plastic. Let sit in a cool place for 30 minutes. Here's what you'll need for the ravioli filling. One and a half pounds of beef, finely chopped. One egg. Salt and pepper. One pound of spinach. Parmesan cheese. Your choice of tomato sauce. First, start a pot of boiling water. Combine the beef, one fourth cup of Parmesan cheese, and the egg. Mix the ingredients together. Put the spinach in boiling water for 30 seconds, then drain. Let the spinach cool and finely chop. Add the spinach to the meat and mix. Add salt and pepper to taste. Cut the pasta dough in half. Roll the two halves of dough into thin sheets. Once you've rolled out the dough, place the meat filling in small mounds one inch apart on half of the dough. Moisten the dough in between each mound with water.
place the second half over the first half. Seal the two halves of dough together. Cut out each ravioli. Place each ravioli on a tea towel so that they are not touching. Start a large pot of boiling water. Once the water is boiling, put the ravioli in to cook for five minutes. After five to eight minutes, drain your pasta. Add your choice of tomato sauce, and cheese to garnish. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy your bread, cheese spread, and ravioli.